Okay, welcome everybody to the seminar online. It's rather weird to do this, but anyway, it's my first time. Um, today we have Matteo Monti, who is going to talk about the Radon transform on homogeneous trees. Please. Thank you. Um, well, welcome to Teams, YouTube, or wherever you are. Um, today I will present a, a shorter version of the of the same talk that I. I, I gave in uh, I gave in uh, Nice. It's uh, based it's based on uh, a joint work with uh, Francesca Bartolucci, now in uh, ETH of Zurich, and uh, Filippo De Mari uh, from the University of Genova. And we are all Malga, Malga members, of course. the The main topic uh, it will be the Radon transform on homogeneous trees, and uh, in particular, we we will analyze the, the unitarization problem. Well, I decided to to divide the talk into sections. In the first one, uh, I will introduce the Radon transform in a general uh, setup, and uh, I will uh, uh, will give an overlook on uh, general problem, um, on most important problem that is the reconstruction problem, and uh, a little bit of state of art of that problem. Instead, in the second part, uh, we we are going to to focus on uh, homogeneous trees and uh, on our result uh, on the radon transformer there. So uh, let's start with a general definition. I mean, uh, this is a sort of naive definition when you have a space X and uh, a family of subsets uh, of the space X, and this family is called Xi you can uh, decide to integrate a signal over f uh, over x only on um, on the subset uh, and uh, doing this uh, you're you're doing a, a radon transform of the signal on each uh, subset and uh, basically this is a very naive definition since you have to fix uh, a measure for each subset and you have to understand for which function this uh, this definition makes sense and so on, but it's just for an idea. In this uh, uh, image, uh, we can see a, an, uh, well, an, um, an, an example of the, the prototypical Radon transfer. I mean, uh, the, the one in which uh, X is the plane, Euclidean plane, uh, Euclidean plane R2. And uh, as Xi, we consider the set, uh, the family of all the lines of the plane. And uh, so basically, in this case, uh, the function f uh, is uh, the characteristic function uh, of this uh, Malga red set. And uh, we, we integrate it on each line of the plane. In particular, if you integrate it on each line parallel to this one, you obtain a, a function like this, and so on on the other lines. And the most important problem of this, uh, of this theory is uh, the reconstruction problem. That is to understand how a signal is made and uh, only knowing uh, uh, its radon transform. Uh, well, this uh, is uh, it's clear. The important the importance of this uh, this problem is clear uh, because if you solve it, in this case you can uh, you can reconstruct a two-dimensional signal only knowing uh, some uh, let me say one-dimensional informations, and uh, this. Uh, in, applica in applications, uh, this uh, is very important. Uh, for example, uh, I'm going I'm to present two more, typ more typical applications, I don't know. The first one is the most famous, for sure, that is the computer tomography. So when you, when you have to do a CT scan uh, machine in the hospital, have to reconstruct uh, the image of the, of the section of the human body. Uh, only knowing some uh, information, uh, let me say one-dimensional information, that is uh, the the energy lost by each X-ray uh, shot on uh, on the head of the of the human body, and the machine use uh, reconstruction of the Radon transform in order to obtain uh, uh, the image that we are looking for. In, uh, in recent years, uh, radon transform has been defined also uh, 
also on, the, on discrete in, the, in discrete sets and uh, for example on graphs uh, and uh, in particular on tree in, uh, in this image and with the same uh, philosophy the um, the sort of tomography uh, discrete tomography has been developed here uh, basically the the, the 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 goal of this uh, of this uh, approach is to understand our signal on the graph or in the tree is made in, only knowing uh, some information like uh, the average of the signal on a family of paths or something like this. And so uh, it uses uh, also in this case a, a reconstruction formula for the radon transform, but uh, of course a different radon transform defined on uh, a discrete, uh, discrete set. Now a little bit of state of art of the art of this problem. And uh, well, of course, uh, um, first of all, this is, is not a uh, uh, well posner, is a new post problem, but basically it's an inverse problem, uh, an inverse problem kind of problem. And uh, this is because the radon transform in general is not, uh, well, in general, it is not bounded, and so it's not possible to, to invert it. And uh, in all begins the, uh, with, uh, all began with, uh, Radon, of course, that presents uh, the the first uh, the first definition of radon transform, which is the one the prototypical one, the one of the of the first slide, and uh, he solved uh, the problem uh, for uh, this this type of uh, radon transform. This, of course, is not uh, an operator a uh, bounded operator. This is a, a simplification of the formula, and is not so continuous uh, and so on. And uh, this uh, this approach was very important, and uh, well, it's well pretty efficient. In, in, uh, indeed, uh, in the following years, uh, a lot of uh, radon transform has been defined, and uh, for all of them, uh, the, sa the same uh, approach fits uh, uh, all, all one uh, all uh, all the, the radon transform defined. And uh, well, so not the same formula, but the same uh, idea of uh, approach to the formula. In the last uh, two two years, uh, Alberti, Bartolucci, De Mari, and De Vito uh, developed a, a different uh, different formula for the reconstruction problem, and uh, that works for uh, some uh, radon transform on Euclidean spaces. And um, well, this uh, this formula is different uh, uh, because uh, the approach uh, to the formula is different to the to the problem is different. It's different, and um, the our goal now is uh, to reply the same uh, approach, the same reconstruction formula, if it's possible, to different uh, case, to different uh, radon transforms, in particular, or all uh, also to different. Uh, Different manifolds, so not uh, not only Euclidean spaces. In this case, we are going to focus on homogeneous trees, indeed. And so, in order to do it, in order to understand what are, we are going to do, uh, I present a, a little uh, a little sketch of this approach in order to, I mean, uh, at least uh, understand what we are doing. And the the, st the the approach is based on two two steps. The first one uh, is the unitarization of the radon transform, and the second one uh, um, is the the use of some uh, group representation theory techniques. And so let me explain. With uh, the unitarization of the radon transform is a unitary operator from uh, L2 of X uh, into L2 of uh, so the family of subspaces uh, of subsets, so L2 of Xi. The, that is the the extension of the composition of the radon with a, a, a pseudo differential operator lambda. So the unitarization problem is uh, the problem to find uh, uh, an operator uh, uh, lambda such that this composition can be extended. This composition can be extended to an operator, a unitary operator, and. Uh, for the second step, we need the, well, a basic definition that is the group representation, uh, well, the definition of a group representation, a unitary group representation. Uh, well, the, the unitary group representation can be thought of as a, a family of unitary operator or an Hilbert space, in this case L2 of X, 
let me say parameterized by by a group G. This parameterization is a group homomorphism, but we are not interested in. Him. And uh, we are interested in a particular class of unitary representations, that is the class of the square integrable one. And uh, uh, a representation is square integrable if there exists a vector psi in the Hilbert space, in, in this case, uh, so a function uh, in a 2 of x psi, such that uh, this formula holds for every f, uh, for every signal in L2 of x. Now, you, if we if you want to focus on this formula, you can uh, you can think uh, of this uh, coefficient as um, as a, a measurement uh, a measurement of the of your signal with respect to g to the element g of the group, and this formula says that uh, if you do all the all the measurement uh, so for every element of the group, uh, you can uh, uh, build your your signal rebuild your your signal. So it mm, it's a sort of reconstruction formula for uh, for the this um, this representation. The idea now is to use this uh, reconstruction formula with the help of the unitarization of the Radon transform in order to obtain a reconstruction formula not of the representation but uh, the Radon transform. So uh, we ask that uh, there exists uh, um, unitarization for the Radon transform and a representation phi at uh, unitary representation phi at in uh, in the Hilbert space L2 psi, such that uh, the unitarization uh, um, satisfies this uh, sort of intertwining property uh, uh, with the two representations. If uh, if this assumption uh, is satisfied uh, is, is satisfied, we can rewrite in this way the coefficient uh, applying the unitary operator Q. And uh, since uh, the signal is in the domain of the Radon transform, we can uh, uh, write the Q as a lambda a lambda Radon and uh, put the lambda on the other on the other side since uh, lambda is uh, mm, self-adjoint. And uh, now again, we can uh, shift. Uh, I repeat this uh, representation out. Sorry, out. Uh, since uh, the intertwining uh, the intertwining property and the intertwining property of the operator lambda, so this uh, is uh, uh, a coefficient that uh, depends on the signal only by its Radon transform, and this basically is the key of the of the approach because uh, if pi is a square integrable representation, we can rewrite uh, our uh, reconstruction formula in this way, and basically this is a reconstruction formula for the Radon transform. OK, now th this is basically the end of the first uh, the first part of the first section of the talk. And uh, so this is the end of the, the approach. Um, now we are going to focus uh, on uh, discrete X, X in particular uh, on homogeneous trees. And uh, we choose homogeneous trees, uh, homogeneous trees since they, they are the well, the simplest, almost for us, uh, idea of a uh, discrete uh, discrete set, and uh, well, a part of this uh, of this section will overlap uh, the the last talk, the talk of Gian Maria Marconi, since uh, we are also interested in um, find the, um, the no in the relation between the, the the trees and the hyperbolic disk, as we as we will see. So I start with a very basic definition. I don't know if all of you know what a graph is, but uh, um, basically it can be thought of as a, a family of uh, points uh, that we call vertices, joined by some edges. And uh, a tree is a particular graph, is a connected and loop-free graph. So uh, in, a, in, a, in a tree, if I pick uh, two vertices, there, is, there exists uh, one and only one uh, path joining them. So an homogeneous tree is uh, instead is a, uh, a tree in which uh, each vertex uh, lies on the same number of uh, edges. So I, each vertex is the the end of the say of the a fixed number of edges. If you look at this picture, 
this is not homogeneous. In fact, uh, this lies uh, on five edges, uh, this is on three, and uh, this uh, only in one, uh, only on one edge. This is a nice, uh, and this is not a very interesting thing. So each homogeneous mm, in, is infinite. Uh, this is Mateo? most true. I mean, uh, we have to avoid the very trivial case. Uh, yes. There, there, yes. Yes. We had some problems with hearing you. Mm. Now maybe it's better. I thought it was my network, but uh, other are having I can problems. listen. I can understand, but no, probably. Uh, I don't know. Uh, not true. Uh, mm, I also problem to her. You can uh, switch off. Uh, I don't know. Uh, now you can see me. You can uh, listen to me. I can, you can, see, I don't know. I can see you. I can hear you. Well, let's try again. Maybe you can keep you can keep the chat open okay. so that you can see whether people complain or not. Okay. Now I have to understand uh, how. Uh, well, there is a. Um, Symbol, yeah, you'd find it. Okay, let's let's try. Okay, maybe maybe I can uh, can mute my camera. Mm. I don't, I don't we can, we, can, we can try with the camera because I mean it's it's already yeah. rather yeah. yeah. Let's I try let's, with let's the keep going the, and we see. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, wait uh, because I have some problem with the chat, but uh, well. Uh, Okay, uh, so uh, I was saying that each homogeneous tree is uh, is infinite, uh, at least uh, if you avoid the, the trivial case of the edge. I mean, uh, an edge is a, a very trivial homogeneous tree in which each vertex lies on exactly one edge, but it, and it is not infinite, but we are not interested in. And in the future, we will uh, avoid also the the other trivial case that is the line, basically. So uh, a tree uh, in which uh, each vertex lies uh, on two vertices. The each, ver each vertex lies on exactly two edges. So basically, it's a, it's a line. OK, uh, so this uh, is the idea of a homogeneous tree. And uh, now, in this section, I will present uh, the analogy between, uh, in analogy, we represent uh, the, the homogeneous tree and the hyperbolic disk. This is because uh, there, there is a, a, strict, uh, a strict relation between them, as Jama presented the last, uh, last time, and uh, as we will see soon. Uh, the hyperbolic disk is uh, the, the open unitary disk of the complex plane, endowed with uh, um, a Riemannian structure in which geodesics uh, are diameters and the portions of the Euclidean circles uh, normal to the boundary. And uh, there is uh, a, a canonical embedding of the tree in the disk. And basically, this uh, this embedding maps uh, an edge in the in a portion of a geodesic, and uh, the length of the of the image of each uh, edge is the same. So uh, this portion of uh, geodesic is equal to the to this. Uh, the, the length of this portion is uh, equal to the length of this one. And this is because the Riemann metric, uh, Riemannian metric is, is, uh, is not uh, rigid. So we can uh, speak about the geodesic uh, in the case of homogeneous tree. Um, here, geodesics are, are all the infinite W infinite path. So uh, W infinite path. And now if we consider uh, a shift of parallel geodesics in the hyperbolic disk, this means uh, that we consider uh, all the geodesics uh, uh, exit from uh, uh, exiting from this boundary point omega, that is one. And uh, if we do the same thing in uh, case of the tree, uh, here we consider all the all the W infinite path ending in uh, in the same point at infinity, at infinity. Uh, we can define our cycles as uh, curves. 
uh, normal to, to this shift. And the hyperbolic disk, the uh, Euclidean circle, tangent to the boundary in Omega. And uh, in the case of the tree, they are uh, these lines, the, the union of the, of the vertices on these lines. And uh, well, it's important to observe that uh, these are uh, five different row cycles, and each row cycle is uh, an infinite set because this, these are only portions of row uh, cycles. And uh, so this row cycle has a lot of a lot of vertices uh, up here, probably uh, somewhere. And uh, so each each row cycle is infinite, and uh, there exists uh, very, there is an infinite number of row cycles. Now, if we if we want the, if we want an analogy with the uh, Euclidean space, you can you can think uh, you can think of uh, the, of a geodesic uh, like a line and uh, or a cycle like hyperplane. So basically, what we are doing now, uh, defining uh, the Radon transform on uh, row cycles, is a, a sort of Radon transform on uh, hyperplanes in a Euclidean space. So the Radon transform of a signal is defined in a neuro cycle in this way. Well, this is the definition for the hyperbolic disk, and we are not interested in it. But uh, this one is uh, the important one, is the one on uh, the tree. And uh, well, you can observe that uh, the measure on each neuro cycle is the counting measure. And uh, this uh, Radon is uh, well defined, for example, if uh, the the, the function uh, as a compact support and well all the function on the tree are continuous so basically we are considering uh, the the set of uh, compact supported uh, continuous function on the tree and so the the Rodin transform for us uh, is an operator on the cc of x so that is the 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 set of the finite supported function on the tree into a two psi now we consider an isometry of the tree that is a map is, is a map uh, from uh, the tree uh, onto the tree who preserve distance that is uh, who preserve uh, that preserve uh, edges okay so if you see in the in the image it's uh, clear i think so an isometry maps uh, uh, vertices in vertices but also cycles in our cycles and this allows us to define uh, this two uh, representation of the group of the isometry. The first one is uh, on the signals, and the second one on the radon transform of the signal, we can say. These two representations are uh, called uh, quasi regular representations. And uh, uh, now we are in a position to, to state uh, our result that is uh, this. We basically we solve the unitarization problem, so we we prove that there exists an operator lambda uh, such that uh, the composition extends to a unitary operator from L2 of X to L2 of Xi, and uh, so this is the solution for the uh, for the um, unitarization problem for the trees for homogeneous trees, and moreover this uh, this unitarization. Uh, intertwines the, the true uh, representation as uh, as requested in, uh, in our uh, in our approach for the reconstruction uh, problem so um, basically if you remember our approach for the reconstruction problem we solve the first step and we prove that uh, the solution of the first step we can say the unitarization satisfy the condition that we want but unfortunately uh, Pi is not square integrable in this case, so uh, we cannot conclude easily with uh, um, a reconstruction formula for the Radon transform, but uh, we we have to work about it. And uh, well, so the the talks uh, unfortunately ends uh, ends here, but uh, our next uh, future goal is to is to find the reconstruction formula for the Radon transform, possibly using this uh, this result. And uh, so, thank you for uh, for the attention for the possibility of, of the talk. Thank you. So
Okay, so thanks a lot for the talk. Uh, are there any comments or questions? So just just um, unmute yourself. I I have a question actually. Um, can you can you tell us something more on the group G? I mean, you just left it very vague. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, the wait a moment. Mm, okay, the group G, well, is the group of the isometries, and uh, um, basically, uh, it's a, it's it's a strange group, and uh, there is not uh, there are not many res many results about it, but uh, it it's a mm, it's a sort of uh, well, it's similar to L uh, SL2 uh, of R. I mean, uh, the the group of the isometry on the disk. Uh, but uh, it's um, it's a little bit uh, different because uh, isometry uh, isometries in, on the tree can be very strange. I mean, uh, if uh, if I switch uh, two branches uh, in uh, in a point, this is an isometry. So is um, I mean is the rigid the rigid structure of the disk is uh, is lost. So. Uh, mm, there, there, is, there are very there are too many too many isometries uh, to obtain uh, something uh, of beauty. So it's not so beautiful as a group. And there is a sort of uh, Ivasava decomposition, but it's not a, a real Ivasava decomposition, I think. I see. And uh, I mean, what was known on the inversion of the Radon transfer for these, uh, on these uh, trees? Yeah, there is a, a paper uh, of uh, Picardello, uh, I think. I don't remember. I'm not sure. Uh, who present uh, who presents the the inversion formula in this way? Uh, okay, in the in this way. So with the back back projection, basically, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, in the usual way uh, as uh, as Radon did uh, in uh, one century ago. Uh, this is the the standard approach. I mean, so uh, this is, was the first the first thing proved uh, on. Uh, the Radon transform for, for the, in this case. I'm not sure uh, Picardello was the author, but uh, I think yes. Okay. Uh,